That's okay. Let's go back here. Like all you can see in we're in the really thick swamp. The really thick parts of the swamp. All you can see is a backpack. When the back of Grunty's hand whoops your butt, you'll hardly stand. I don't know what to say to that, honestly. Okay, let's go through here. What is that out of here? It's Cheeto. Cheeto, this pillar book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which last book? Finders, Baron, Bernard, spell they get. Be sure to bag, lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you at will. Hidden in there, other spell books are. Them you should find. So, for those who don't know, there's three Cheeto books. Each one gives you a cheat. That's not really cheating, it just is expanding the number of. Like, this one gets doubles the number of eggs you can carry. There's one for feathers and one for gold feathers. And stop being stuck. And that's all there is to that, really. I'll be click I'll getting all three of those, and I'll be inputting the codes off screen, though. Since it's pretty self-explanatory, just go to the sandcastle where we did the Banjo Kazooie spelling thing in Treasure Trove Cove, and uh, type them in. Once again, I'm sure most of you know about this already. So I think it's about time. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can keep going. Yes, I know your match is getting weak. I think it's about time we move on. I just know Skull Boy, the, the dread is building inside you, just because you're going to have to listen to this song. Again. Here it comes. Well, not quite this soon. Another easy note door. Actually, all the notes are easy if you're doing 100%. Now, over there is another level we're not going to be going to, to yet. Actually, is there something over here that we want to get now, or do we want to do this later? I might as well get this. I think the other one has some boots behind it so you can get across the uh, quicksand to get to Gobi's Valley, which we'll be covering after Free CC Peak. Yeah, that's all that's in there. And let's go down here. And Jiggy. Told you we wouldn't have to wait long to get that one. back up. I'm not going to bother cutting this out just because it's not that big a travel. It's right here. <sighs> Alright, moving on. If we want to right now, we could completely skip for easy peek and still beat the game. I mean, we could go right through that note door, open up Kobe's Valley and play that one. But we're doing 100%, which means we're not skipping a thing. Plus, this is, I like this level a lot. This is, level is a great inspiration to I Won't Be the Star, as many of you will see. Let's do it. Inside because me and Skullboy have such mixed reactions. This is like his most dreaded song, and I just love it. Well, 
my side. With notes. Okay, got him. Oh, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. I'll help you in a minute. Oh, I missed one. I might as well start over. Ow! You jerk. You know what, just because of that, we're gonna start with you. We're gonna start with this jiggy. First we have to learn a new move. Time for some aerial action with... Who are you talking to, Bottles? Uh, this is the Beak Bomb. Uh... Bomb attack, which, uh. lets you. do. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what, what to say, really. It's just a mid air attack. Hello, Mr. Jinjo. Oh, look at their eyes. Okay. This is one of the jiggies. Take out. Ow! I might shot lined up and everything. I missed. Hit the snowman in the hat, and that's what knocks him out. Let's get that. Oh, skill. What's my panel up there? Oh wait, oh, that was a bad jump. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay out then. You're a jerk. So he actually, actually has much better traction than Banjo on the ice, or on the snow, because so he doesn't slip around very much, if at all. Yeah, someone was a jerk at the beginning, so we're gonna take him out first. Actually, why don't we get this too over here? enough. And there's a Jiggy there. We'll pick that up in a minute. After you've taken out the snowman. Oh, okay. Actually, that... Oops. Didn't mean to go up. Actually kind of helped me since I was going to go... I need a course correction, basically. What's that guy for you? Alright, just memo token. We'll collect our spoils in a minute. I'd rather take these guys out first. Ah, oh, there's an empty honeycomb. Take these guys out, we'll... I don't remember if they respawn or not. If they do, then whatever. We'll have this out of the way at least. If they don't, then... We don't have to deal with these guys anymore in the level. Okay, where's the last one? Oh yeah, that was the last one. And we'll get that jiggy once we're up there. Let's click those spoils. And then we'll go on with the plan I was going to take originally. That was rudely interrupted. Yeah, Mumbo token there. And, uh... Some notes. Collect more notes, and I think was there another Mumbo token? Yes, there was. Now let's play this little mini game over here. Let's go away. This is one thing that you discovered that made me kind of angry because all the times before, I thought I had to um, do a beak bomb, the ground pound on all these uh, twinkly munchers. But apparently, you can just peck them. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I found that out. Because all these years, I always did it wrong. Come on. That wasn't fair, the timing of that. Is messed up now. No. Oh. Oh, I messed up the 
enemy completely. Okay, fine. You know what? We're gonna fix the timing here. There. Turn these guys better and they don't even be able to. Wow. Okay, we won. It doesn't matter anymore. Easy game. Phew. That was close. We made it. Now switch us on. Ow. Best way to take those guys out. Now fortune line, let's collect these notes. Just need fire and no. That turns lights on. You be, you be a star, and you'll find your reward. Hurry! Now, when I saw this, I I'd forgotten that they said be a star. So when I saw this, and Skullboy reacted like hey, this one to be a star. It's like that just made me laugh. All the more. Yeah, if you look around, you can actually see that uh, this tree looks a lot like the one in the tree in uh, I Won't Be the Star, doesn't it? Especially from the, from the fact that you can see the stars. Whoops. Ah, that was bad. I meant to press. You can use the left and right bumper to uh, do sharper turns. I'm not going to make it this time. I want to try just for fun. See if we can make it. <laughs> There's no chance I'm gonna make it. Come on, go through. Oh, that would've been too cool. Okay, dive. Just go. Flying system. That's weird, I don't usually mess it up that bad. And I just got. That was my fault, I got the buttons mixed up. Remember, Skullboy, be a star. Uh, okay, I'm, I'll stop teasing Skullboy now. It's just fun. Let me sadistic in a comment right now. I'm pretty sure that he's going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's going to leave a comment if he's watching this. And uh, most of the time, when he comments on things like this, he calls me sadistic, which is. Come on, get in there. Turn. Okay, there we go. And voila, Jiggy inside. So you have to go inside the tree and climb up it. Another reference to I Won't Be the Star, perhaps? You can see, look, you can see the stars and everything, just like the setting for the final battle. Those of you who played it. Oops, I want this first. Let's climb the tree. I guess you won't see, like, at least I can see Krako or Sephiroth here. Or Donkey Kong, for that matter. And if you hadn't played my game, then I just... Or I just spoiled the bosses. Well, sort of. I'm sure most of you attempt have attempted my game or seen Skullboy's walkthrough of it. So it's not like there's a lot to spoil. Drop from the top, though, and you hear Banjo screaming as he falls down and then 
it goes to the next screen, it's like, I'm good. 